that are quite stable and reliable, the predictions of the Sarah Martin Sarah radius are quite um, reliable and they have quite low uncertainties. But yes, definitely for stars that are very highly active, uh, especially M course, for example, uh, you need to be very careful about what you do. That's why it's always important to do follow up research, to do independent research of the, the stellar radii and stellar masses, as well as looking at uh, ways in which we can kind of uh, use, for example, the transit method can detect or can rather predict the mean. Right now, atmospheric characterization, so like we're looking at the chemistry of the atmospheres of these planets, is done using the transit method. So it's using, for example, different filters like different colors of different filters and looking at the transit method and how it changes the curve. And from that change, we can actually tell which uh, chemicals are being absorbed through the atmosphere because as you go to the transit, you don't just have the planet itself, but you have kind of a shell of the atmosphere. So some of this the light that's going through is actually going through the, the stellar out, the planetary atmosphere itself. But in the next uh, decade or two, they're, they're planning it to be 2027, but I think I feel like it's going to be another James Webb. It's the Nancy Grace Roman Telescope, and that will change the game because we'll actually be able to do direct.